Hi, it's Caroline from Remabulous. And we started in this lovely kind of look you up and down kind of way because my brother got me a new pair of shoes for my birthday. I'm really excited about it. They are, um, I'm doing this challenge with two friends of mine this year, which is we are not buying newly made clothing um, or shoes unless it's underwear or workout gear because that's just not something you wanna buy used, if you know what I mean. So we are not buying new clothes this year, but since it was my birthday and my brother made me take him to the airport at eight o'clock in the morning, I decided that mama needed a pair of new shoes. So I told him that I would take him to the airport if he bought me these very lovely campers. They're campers, so, and they're sexy. I mean, I don't, you know, I have the other campers. I have like five pairs, I love them. They're wonderfully comfortable. But they are not exciting cranberry colored peep toe wedgie shoes like these are. And um, so they arrived today and I'm pretty fired up. We've been filming some video and my assistant was wondering what was in the shoes because I've been a little excited. So sometimes it isn't about reading a new business book or going to another networking event or doing one more thing that you're supposed to do. We've been talking about this a lot in the Quirk Tank that Often the most inspiring things you do, you do just because you're called to do them. Um, I found actually I had a bunch of calls to listen to this week and I put them on speaker next to me on mute and I was working on a sewing project and I got more out of those calls because I was so able to concentrate because I'm a really auditory learner but I often listen to things in the car and that helps me to concentrate. So when I'm doing something with my hands that isn't verbal, it's non-verbal, um, you know, it's really bad for me to check email when I'm on a call because then I space out. But when I'm sewing, I'm not thinking about words. And so I took in so much more information. Now, is there a business book out there that says you should be on a sewing machine while you're listening to business information? It'll really help. No, of course not. I had to figure that out on my own. And I think there's probably something like that out there. You might need a funny pair of cranberry -ish colored shoes. You might need to watch a movie. You might need to go out and do something unexpected because if you're looking to make change and growth in your business, it isn't, it isn't always helpful to read books about how other people are doing it because that works for them, but it may not work for you. And so I think the most important thing is that you really pay attention this week to what's calling you, even if it doesn't make any sense. I mean, sewing does not obviously have a whole lot to do with a business coaching business. I know other people who do cooking who on the call talked about just being dying you know, to play tennis. Does that immediately connect? Not entirely. Cooking can be healthy. Her cooking is very healthy. Tennis is very healthy, but they're not naturally something that you'd put together. But if it's calling her, I say go for it. So I think that's something we're learning to embrace in the cork tank. And I wanted to share that tip with all of you. And if you're not in the cork tank, you should be. It's remabuluscoaching.com forward slash cork tank. We would love to see you there. And this is the video vlog. Actually, as this is up for you all, I will be on a plane on my way to New York, where I will be for the next week. So hopefully we will have some fun video updates for you from New York um, talking about the quirks. So look forward to those on the site and on Facebook and on our YouTube channel. So until next Friday, have a remabulous day.